Hi, I'm T. Cooper. I'm a New York City makeup artist, hairstylist, and co-founder of beauty and grooming company Metro Look. Today we're going to talk about how to do your hair for an Indian wedding. Indian wedding hair is really, really beautiful, but it's a lot more simple than people think that it is. I've done a few Indian weddings, and it looks very elaborate, but it's not the actual hair itself. It's the accessories and the veils. They have these gorgeous, like, jewelry-adorned accessories that go in the hair. They have these flowy, gorgeous veils that they wear in the background, but the hair itself is usually pretty simple, and there's almost always a part down the middle so they can put some kind of accessory but not every single one does it. So as you can see, I've already propped my model's hair. I've prepped it, and we've got a ponytail with a side with a little part down the middle. And um, I didn't go that far. Sometimes the part can go all the way to here, but I guess it comes to your personal taste. So now that I have the hair prepped, we're gonna get started. So what I always like to do is whenever I put a ponytail and I have a scrunchie or a hair tie or my preferred one is a bungee, I always like to hide it. So I take a piece of hair from underneath and then I wrap it around so you can't see it. And then we're going to pin it in place underneath. And sometimes when you pin it underneath, you might have a stray hair or two, but that's not a big deal at all. All you need to do is just grab your hairspray, spray it, and then work it with your fingers and it will blend in. So with the hair here, I want to roll it underneath almost like a chignon, like a half chignon. And for the very top layer, not the whole thing, but what you're going to see on the outside, I'm just going to run my flat iron through it just so it's really, really sleek and shiny. I'm going to do this side. So the top will be nice and smooth and you'll have a little bit of texture underneath which will help look the chign make the chignon look a little bit fuller. So since she has very full hair, I'm actually going to rubber band the bottom of it because I don't want very much to drop out. And what that does, it just aids in the rolling process. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the hair and we're going to roll it up. And then now that it's rolled up, we're going to take as many pins as we possibly need to pin it down in place. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now that that's in place, we take the hair and we pretty much just stretch it out some. And once you get your desired shape, you can go ahead and pin that as well, just so it won't go anywhere, so it'll stay that way. And now, we just give it a final spray. And then you're all set and then you can put any kind of accessory and veil and beautiful jewelry. Your hair is up and out of your face and it's still a gorgeous updo. I'm T. Cooper and thank you for watching.